Well, good afternoon. And I think I can't say or add anything to what my wife has just said, and I salute her. And I can't add very much to what's already been said by so many of you today. Uh, if you'll permit me, I'd like to be a little bit uh, anecdotal, because uh, thanks to Lawrence Rosenthal, I was reminded of uh, three people who paid a, a great role in my life. And Arthur Morton was a mentor of mine, Sandy Courage, and the great Herbie Spencer. And when I think about those men, I always think about how they helped me in different ways and how I could never repay them. What can you do for uh, Arthur Morton? Or I think about the composers I've worked for. How can you repay someone like Jerry Goldsmith or John Williams? And that's when I think back to ASMAC, of when I first came to Hollywood some 25 years ago. It's hard to believe I've been here for a third of how long this organization has been in existence. And I've seen marvelous changes because it's been quite a technological ride, hasn't it, from what music has, was 25 years ago to what it is today. But one of the first things I did when I came here is I came to an ASMAC masterclass with Bruce Broughton and Albert Harris and the magnificent Bob Florence. And I can't miss Alan Ferguson. He was at his thorniest that day. And it seemed as though that they were, uh, I, I'm Buddy Baker. And I was struck by how these men shared their knowledge and profound experience with the brass instruments, each in their own different way. Everybody was very generous. And that's when somebody said about ASMAC that it's not political. No, it's not political. It's members of people that are real craftsmen, people that love making music. When you go to something with ASMAC, you're always struck by, you're surrounded by people that love what they do. They've dedicated their lives to what they do. And though technology has changed the way of how many of us work, and in some ways changed even the music, there are some fundamental things that will never change. And those fundamental things, things that don't change are kept alive by people that love the art, like the people that are the members of ASMAC. And so the way I think that I can repay, and all of us can, the people that have helped us, is that we can't give them a job, though maybe they'd like one, but we can try to honor their, their work by trying to continue the standards that they've set. And we might not be able to surpass them, but we can at least dedicate ourselves to people to make sure that younger people try to uphold them as well. And that's all I would like to add today, because um, a friend of mine, he said, uh, I was once lamenting some of the technology, uh, showing what the geezer I am. And he said to me, he said, it was Tom Calderell, a good friend, he said, hey, Conrad, we're not in the music business, we're in the recording business. And I thought, wow, that's a profound insight, but not to bring anyone down here. <laughs> what I would like to say is that, ASMAC is still in the music business, and that's what I treasure about it the most. Thank you. Fantastic words. Um, I got a note, second cocktail hour is about to start, and they'll be taking your dinner order soon as well. <laughs> So think about that. I think we're ordering pizza. Um, 